that is, that's me right there. And that's Trooper Proctor. I believe uh, the photographer or another criminologist is here. I, I don't know what their title is. At some point uh, during the execution of this search warrant, uh, what, if any, uh, issues did you become aware of with regard to the criminals? Uh, they were having trouble. They were trying to remove the housing uh, to the taillight, uh, passenger side taillight, and they were having difficulty removing it. And uh, what, if any, assistance did you offer with regard to that? I told them that we had an officer working who was in charge of our fleet maintenance and our mobile operations unit who probably had the tools to do it. And he also had vast extensive experience in auto body. Who was that, sir? That's Officer Brian Wanless. Kenton Police Department was allowed to facilitate the removal of that light. Yes. And during the course of the removal of that light, a taillight was broken, correct? That's correct. And shattered? Yes. Parts of it that were falling onto the ground? I don't think there was anything falling on the ground at that point. <laughs> so now we do have evidence that that taillight, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, was broken or broken more once it was inside the Sally Port in Canton PD's custody. You're going to have to rephrase that. I don't understand the broken more part. During the removal process, mm -hmm. that light was broken even more. No. And during the course of the removal of that light, a taillight was broken, correct? That's correct. And shattered? Yes. <laughs> 